Hey everybody, this is Dean DeCost, and today we're going to talk a new tool called Sourcing. Now, Sourcing is a discovery tool, but it's a really interesting tool. So the first thing I'm going to do is log in, and we get to this point, username and all that. So I'm going to put in my username, which is basically my email address, auto-populate, thankfully. I'm going to put in my password, no big deal there, uh, and we're going to open her up. Now, this is what we get. Great. Like this. Now, the interesting thing about this is what it does is it searches. So as you can see down here, it has a couple of pre-constructed recipes, .NET, sysadmin, DevOps, Python developer, Java, but we're going to do our own. Title. We're going to do a title of developer. Down here, I was going to do Java, but since they have one pre-populated, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do Hadoop. For those of you who don't know, that's uh, big data. And for location, we're going to pick on Seattle because I'm in Seattle. Now, even though it all populates, that doesn't mean you have to go with what they say. You can do whatever you want. And then it has preferred current or former employer. We're not going to do any of that. We're just going to discover. Now, so we're going to push the discover button, and it comes in over here. Now, what's going to happen is it's scouring the internet trying to match it. The interesting part, and you can see it right here, a lead will always include a personal email or phone or both. And as you can see, it's already gotten six results, and they all have email addresses, and at least all of them but one has a phone number. Now, there's more than six. It's going to keep looking. So this is really cool. And as you can see, of the seven, all of them have emails. Two of them don't have phones. The rest all have phones. I'm really happy with this. Now, I know a lot of you are sitting there saying, well, wait a minute. You said Seattle. Look at these phone numbers. Let's remember cell phone numbers, you know, people travel. And it's going to keep going up to whatever my plan allows me. Now, there's a, a, a free trial plan. Then there's some other plans in there. They're all pretty good. There's 12, and it's going to keep going, but I'm not worrying about it. There's 13. Now, let's look at what else. Number one, you can run another search. Number two, you can actually download all this information to an Excel spreadsheet, which means you can then upload it to a CRM or ATS. Number three, you can dismiss results and research and allows you to run a new search without eating up your plan's search limits. So basically, you know, whatever plan you're on, you have search limits. By doing this way, it doesn't count the search limits against you. Okay, now let's go to some more information that I think is really pretty cool about this tool, why it's doing this. If we go up here, we already did the new search, former searches. We're going to open this bad boy up, and it keeps track of all your searches so that you can do a lot of different things. Uh, number one being you can see the results. Number two, you can uh, edit and research, which means you don't need up your own, you know, you don't need up your, your allotted amount. And you can actually go ahead and make it, uh, make this look based on skills, based on location, based on whatever, alphabetically, up, down, whatever you want. So this is all pretty cool. So you don't have to recreate the wheel, so to speak. As you can see, I've run quite a few. And then it even tells you how many leads you got. Now, in some cases, like this one here, only got two. I stopped it. I'm sure it would have had more. Uh, this one's 15, 15, 15, 15, 18, 2, 4, 16. And I stopped a lot of these because I was just playing with it, trying to make see, trying to see exactly how it works. Now, of course, you can delete these. You can keep them. You can do whatever you want. But it's really, but that's what it can do. So that's the former. That is the former searches. Again, with the new search, of course, this is how you do it. It does have pre-constructed, like I said earlier. And then the automated results is right there. Um, so that's how it works. It all is pretty simple, easy. Uh, here's the one that I just ran down here at the bottom, developer Hadoop. The high IDs are the newer searches. So I can go ahead and make it so that my, high, my newer ones come up top right there. And it found 34. Probably would have found more if I kept it there and let it sit. But 34, I mean, think about that. That's 34 Hadoop people in Seattle. And let's look at those results real quick. Uh, 40, because so like I said, it's still going. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, you know what? All of them have emails, which is great because we all know that over 80% of candidates prefer that for the first contact. But what I like is the fact that most of them have phone. Probably yeah, about 75, 80% of them have phones. Plus... We get other social sites, we get their employer, we get their name, what their title is, and all this, LinkedIn profiles, and then gender. If they can figure out the gender, they let you know what the gender is, which comes in handy for those of us looking at diversity. So it's a good tool. It's uh, simple and easy to use. It's something I would definitely recommend you check out. They're very responsive, so if you need help, they'll take care of you. And, uh, and that's really it. And this is Dean DeCosta, and that was Searching.